But let's stay in the United States, uh, having allowed millions of illegals into the country. The Biden administration is now proposing to do something about the southern border. In a deal to be voted on in the Senate on Wednesday, they promise to, uh, to start to bolster border security, but only if the Republicans agree to supporting pet Democrat projects, including a staggering $60 billion dollars for Ukraine. Now, opponents of the deal say, why do we need a deal to do something about border security? The Biden administration could have done something at any point in the past three years to secure the border. And as uh, former White House spokesperson Sean Spicer pointed out to Andrew Bolt uh, earlier this evening, the reason they haven't is because they've been too busy importing new Democrat voters that this administration recognizes that it, it's more than a philosophical thing. They, they truly do look at this as potential future voters. This, and, and, and there's, you know, when you walk through the process, they want them to come in, they will give them legal status, they give them temporary work right away uh, ability. And, and yes, then they start talking about a path to citizenship. It, it is laughable to think that that's not the plan. It's hard to believe that's not the plan, Caleb, and especially when Biden, early on in his administration, gave responsibility for the border to his vice president, Kamala Harris. That was a big clue that they really weren't serious about that at any point. I wouldn't put her in charge of making the mashed potatoes at dinner, let alone the, the border. But, I mean, this is just such smoke and mirrors because, I mean, it includes provisions to allow up to 5,000 people, illegal migrants, into the country a day anyway. It's 1.83 million a year which is about the same as what's going across the border at the moment. So it does nothing to change anything to do with border security. It allows for workers' permits for asylum seekers, etc. This is the same administration uh, that less than a month ago went to court to tear down the border wire that Texas put up because they claim they need to take down the border wire in order to go and talk to the people at the border. Well, if you can't get through the border wire from the American side, it means you can't get through it from the Mexican side. On and on it goes. And $60 billion to Ukraine. $60 billion. This is obscene money uh, trying to say, OK, you let us do this, we'll talk about the border. A, you're not talking about the border. And why are you spending $60 billion on Ukraine, let alone any other country in foreign aid? It is obscene. I want to get your view in a second, Liz. Let's first go to Donald Trump. He was saying the Republicans should not support this deal because it's a trap. Have a listen. This is a... Uh... A Democrat trap. It's a trap for Republicans that would be so stupid, so foolish to sign a bill like this. This bill can't be signed. And it's not only that, it's massive amounts of money going out of town, as we say, going out of town. Billions and billions and billions of dollars. And uh, it's so bad on the border. I've never seen anything like it. Actually, it's one of the worst, one of the dumbest bills I've ever seen. Is Trump right, Liz? Oh, Trump's always right, James. <laughs> uh, but look, this, this is worse than useless because what it does is codify into law over 1.5 million illegals every year and that's fine. What it says is emergency powers, shutdown powers, are only activated if 5,000 encounters happen at the border every day for seven consecutive days but even then, Senator Mayorkas can overturn it. And he's the one in charge of the border at present. So, you know, he probably would overturn it if that happened, as Caleb's already pointed out. It's funny that they're trying to codify into the law the exact number of illegals that have already been <laughs> arriving at 6 million in just mm. three years under this Biden administration. They haven't lifted a finger, as if the... It, Mayorkas wouldn't just be like, oh, no, we did reach seven consecutive days of 5,000 every day. Oh, well, just so, so the president or the secretary can just give it a tick. Another thing in this bill is 50,000 extra green cards per year for no reason whatsoever. And, of course, you're looking at the illegals. And what Spicer just said there is very relevant as well. That's another provision in this bill mm. in terms of work permits. So if you're accosted at the border and you say, no, no, I'm going to claim asylum, they can give you a work permit right there on the spot. Why don't they just erect banners 
on the border <laughs> saying, come, come one, to America, come, all. come one, come all, we'll give you a work permit immediately for absolutely nothing. Mm. And cities in America have for years now been screaming, saying we have reached capacity. Caleb just mentioned uh, Governor Abbott in Texas, of course, being a border state. They just had to try and put their foot down by themselves. And they're now taking on the federal government of the United States of America because they want them to keep coming. And Texas is saying no.